I'm an incredibly busy man with very little time on my hands at the moment. Ah. <sighs> And I've been using some of that time to enjoy the beautiful and calming island life offered by Animal Crossing, and even more time fiddling about in this goddamn screen. I love this game before anyone gets irritable, but Nintendo stayed true to their two steps forward, one step back ethos by giving me a game mostly revolving around the capitalist fever dream of relentless acquisition, and then laughing in my face when I want ways of dealing with the pockets full of eggs, butterflies, and wardrobes that I've acquired. You'd hope as a society we'd all agree by now that faffing about moving little pictures about on a grid is very much not what I'm playing these video games for, but this has neatly been emphasising to me that either people legitimately enjoy deciding what their character is carrying and the precise order in which it's carried, or devs just still haven't agreed on the best way of doing it. Putting aside the fact that Animal Crossing's idea of a useful sorting feature is to hold A and individually reorganise everything, I feel like it simultaneously wants me to amass as much shit as possible while punishing me for doing so. Now, some games use inventory limits as a way to force you into interacting with their systems, and I can only assume that was the intention here. You can't just spend three hours fishing or mining or picking fruit, then have a big end of session blowout where you rinse those little shit raccoons for everything they've got. You have to choose an activity and deal with your haul there and then. Maybe the idea is to make the game more accessible by limiting how many items you have to deal with at any one time, but the trouble is it turns it from a less frequent, but longer task, into an omnipresent faff. And this is a game designed in a way where there's always six things you could be doing in any given walk across the island. And there's just a lot of strange decisions made in terms of optimising time spent in this game, that even a casual glance at the internet at the moment will make readily apparent. Things like being able to craft one item at a time, despite many recipes having prerequisites that require crafting, meaning for every mid-range tool that breaks, and they will break, often, you're actually having to make two sets of tools to replace it. The devs are self-aware enough to acknowledge that the crafting animation might be a bit too long, so made it so that pressing A speeds up, but does not skip it, which okay fine, you want to keep that in, why not just make the faster animation the default speed? Like, I realise we're going for a slower paced, considered approach here, but you already recognise people are going to want to speed it up, so just cut out the middleman. The animation is cute the first time you see it. I really enjoyed the cooking sequences in Breath of the Wild, but you do those once every so often. Any complaints I have about time wasting here are very much death by a thousand cuts. I love the puns when you catch a fish, I love the blathers animation of him being creeped out by bugs, but these are activities we're doing over and over and over, we really could do with a trimming down of some of the menu repetition before my thumb falls off from hammering the A button. The inventory aspect is by far the one that grinds me down the most though. The fun elements of the game are continually butting up against the busy work of making sure you have enough room to actually do what you enjoy doing. Your inventory size does get bigger as you progress through the tech tree, but would this idyllic island getaway be substantially different if I didn't have to give a shit about any of this? The resources are already gated by both real world time and just the size of the islands themselves. Still, at least Animal Crossing keeps things readable with just inventory slots and doesn't go down the other dreaded route, inventory weight. Is there anything more tedious than staring at a long list of imaginary swords and figuring out which weighs 0.5 less than another so your character remembers how to use his legs? I understand you're not intended to be able to kick down the door of a merchant's shop and bankrupt him on the spot. You need to make decisions while you're exploring over what you want to keep or not. However, my dumb response to that is, who cares, these are not competitive games I'm talking about here. I've been working my way through The Witcher 3, because I make extremely relevant and timely videos, and it's already the gaming equivalent of War and Peace. Having to break the flow of the story and exploration to fiddle with pictures on a grid isn't really what I'm here for. Well Geralt can't carry around everything with him, yeah, well yeah, but we're already suspending disbelief that he's carrying any of this shit around with him in the first place, I'm prepared to take the extra step personally. Luckily, buying saddlebags increases the amount you can carry, which makes perfect sense. 
I understand that open world RPGs turning us into kleptomaniacs is a long-standing tradition now, and there's in theory plenty you're expected to use your collection of random crap for, such as crafting and alchemy, except these all happen dryly in a menu, completely segregated from the world itself. Although, after what I've just said about Animal Crossing, I'm not sure that's a fair complaint. Like when the alternative is Red Dead 2's individual cooking of each piece of meat, I'm not sure I'd like it more if I had to watch Geralt sit and brew potions every time. Now to make a comparison that everyone on the internet will definitely agree with and no way rage at me for, Death Stranding, as much as it's the absolute king of time wasting, grounds its inventory management in a very readable way. The whole game is about carrying stuff, so it makes sense that a large part of that would involve deciding what you can and can't take with you. Yet you can see exactly what you're putting on Sam's body and where, how much it weighs, and the effect it has on him. It's not a series of decisions to be made that distract from the adventure, it is the adventure. You can sit and design the exact layout of what you're carrying, or you can just hit a button and have it all nicely arranged for you. The weight limit is tangible, invisible in the effect that it has on Sam. The Witcher meanwhile is like, hey I know you want to get back to hunting monsters and figuring out which dialogue options will lead to sex, but why don't you spend a while selling or dropping bear hides instead? Although the comparison isn't exactly fair if we're talking about time wasting really, is it? I mean it is fucking Death Stranding that I was comparing it to. I know this isn't a view shared by all, as while writing this a friend of mine had an entire conversation with me about how meticulously he was tracking which merchants bought what for the best price, and I encourage him to enjoy his video game in any way he sees fit, even though he's wrong and mad. All I'm saying is, when I play video games, I'm generally not trying to recreate the feeling of dragging shopping back to the desk. Ah! New weapon! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Alright, what do I, what can I draw? Alright, ancient boot, mm, terrible stats, you, ah, potion of health, uh, get rid of you, probably don't need tampons, I was going to sell this rice cooker, but, uh, alright, fine. Is that enough? No, fuck's sake. Strength potion? No. Alright, sweet. Oh, God. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, alright, get rid of the other potion. Okay, perfect.